Do you know that Visas can't see? <coughs> Excuse me. She can't seem to find her way off of my roster. She keeps having interesting builds. Honestly, it's unseemly. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're going to talk about the top 5v5 offensive teams. This is going to be a this is going to be a crazy season, guys. The Datacron sets, as you well know, are just absolutely off the hook. Uh, the defensive teams, <laughs> don't miss that one, guys. We're putting Malakos on defense, and it is ugly. It's so crazy. I hate putting him on defense, but. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. Also, don't miss my Endless Loops video that I'll link in the video description here. All of both of these, this and the 5v5, are both going to be linked in the video description, and you can find them. The Endless Loops will describe some of the teams and ex explain some of the teams that we're going to talk about here today. Huge shout out to my patrons. By the way, you guys are amazing, and I couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to support this channel for free, folks, all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, comment. Please mount the algorithm. Please. Please. You don't have to, but you should. We, we don't always do what we should, but we should. Obviously. So let's uh, let's get into the game here, folks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, madness! We're we're in the game now. Of course, we do have. Uh, this is a pretty big roster that I've got. I don't mind to brag, but I do have a fairly big roster. And so I know you're not gonna have all the things I do. You're not gonna have all the data crons that I have. And we're gonna try to cover all the things. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. Uh, I will say that I tomorrow, the day after I publish this. I will also be publishing one for my smaller account that has still has Datacrons, but not nearly so many teams, and you'll be able to see some comps that are maybe more relatable to you if you have a smaller than 13 million roster. So let's begin here, folks, though. So these are the offensive teams, and the first one we have, oh, look at that. Did, did you guys see that? Did you guys foresee it? Visas Mar on, on, def or on offense with Ray and Ben. Here's the thing, guys. If she has her Datacron, you only want to put her on if you have her Datacron. If you don't, then it's kind of a waste. But if she dies once, then she'll revive herself, and then she gives everyone 100% extra offense, which Ray is like, oh my gosh, I will kill the whole world. Like She, she like becomes the Death Star, basically. She has become death. You know, it, it's it's a whole thing. So, you don't have to put Holdo here. I just I don't, didn't have a great other person. And honestly, Holdo is underrated with Ray, And, uh, you know, she's relegated on this account. So, I may, I may as well throw her on there uh, for, for fun and stuff. Um, let's see. So, next we have Leia. Uh, Leia on offense, guys. Okay, so here's the thing. You guys saw the turn meter loop video. There are things to deter the turn meter loop, honestly. that There's a lot of stuff. And... Uh, you know, we could get into that. However, at the end of the day, there are a lot of really good teams out there that have crazy abilities. And Leia can be on offense, guys. She can be on offense. If you want to put her on defense, please feel free. You've got Stormtrooper Han, Kron, the Han Kron. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. You have the Obi-Wan Kron and the Han Kron. Just kidding. There's not an Obi-Wan Kron. But it is fun to rhyme like that with the, the Drogon Kron. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop eventually. Uh, the only one that doesn't work here is R2-D2. So, sorry bud. You're just a trash can. So, I like putting them on offense, I, I think. I mean, the extra turn meter you're gonna get from Stormtrooper Han. All the different things. It's a, it's a weird thing though too because Leia is gonna... If you have the Stormtrooper Han Kron with the good level 6, then Leia is going to be taunting quite a bit. And you kind of don't want that a ton. Uh, so you, you throw in old, old Ben, or you, you could put in cracks if you want to put them on defense. I mean, so if, uh, like I said, a couple things you could use to deter them. Like Stormtrooper Han and Krex might be enough, ca Captain Rex to be clear, uh, might be enough to stop some of the shenanigans, but I, I don't know if it's all of them. Um, so watch for that this season. I, I might put, them on, put her on defense at some point, just, just to mess with them, just to show them. Um, otherwise, she could take out, like, Jedi Master Kenobi, just like Rey can. But both of these guys are going to be pretty strong. Um, 
So we'll have to have good teams on defense, of course, to compensate for that. So watch the defense teams video, of course. Uh, so the Eternal Emperor is just, uh, he's kind of a weird, he's a strange fellow. We don't really, like, like there's, yeah, he's going to be relevant. He's a galactic legend. He kills a lot of good teams, but, like, he doesn't love any of these Kron. Like, he's an attacker. He could take an attacker Kron. You know, he'll double up on his mastery when he does his basic uh, before he pops his ult, which is nice against certain teams because then he'll start doing a lot of damage on his basic once he pops his ult. But that's not always going to be the case. So, uh, you know, you don't you don't always need it. Uh, he'll, he'll probably just be killing B teams as per usual. He'll be killing B teams. Not teams that are made of bees, to be clear, guys. Like teams that that um, are from the letter B. I, I don't really know. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, Jedi Master Luke. I just loaded him with a bunch of uh, fellow Jedi, and we'll just launch him at things, I guess. I mean, you could put the tank Kron on. I guess you could run the Basti squad with Watt and stuff, but you, you kind of need Watt on, on the Separatist squad for, for this one, folks. You kind of want Watt there. Uh, in 5s and 3s, we, we used Watt pretty liberally with Jedi Master Luke, but I think now we keep him for offense. I think he's he's a little bit stronger on offense than on defense than he was on defense in 3s. Like, we'll put him back on defense in 3s. Don't, don't you worry, but for now... Yeah, but you could put, I mean, a, an attacker Kron is honestly fine. You could put the tank Kron. There, there, so many of them need so many Krons, folks. Um, Okay, so I, I wrote this little caption. I said offense or defense for CLS. And then I thought, you know what, even with the attacker Kron for this squad, I mean, it's fairly strong. I still think, like, Tuskins or General Grievous probably still ruin this squad pretty good. Maybe not all the way, but I think probably you want it for offense, especially because if people are putting a down, some of those weird, cheesy turn meter loop teams, you can kind of put an end to it with a CLS team, especially if you have the attacker cron. Even if not, being able to hit first with Han and kind of just uh, start the action or stop the action before it really gets going it is a really nice ability. And so being able to, to do that with this squad, uh, it's, it's probably good to just have them for offense, to be honest. Plus, probably get to kill some of the General Skywalkers that people are going to be putting down, I, I think. Maybe. Um, Alright, so Mal Malgus. I went back and forth on this one, folks. Um, Here's the thing. With the Tank Revive level 3 and the level 6 Kron, or, I mean, you could put Grit on him too, I guess. Um, Because it'll give him more health, so it'll hit harder. He, he's gonna be really good on defense honestly he really will be and if you have a lot of answers to the things that he I mean the thing is he he answers so many problems on, on, that you find on defense you'll be like oh yeah okay that's why I brought him like he's he's just gonna constantly destroy things um it's tough for me to then justify putting him on defense. I mean, it, it's fine, but he's gonna kill everything but Galactic Legends, basically, guys. Like, he, he just answers so many things. He's so versatile on offense. You could put him on defense, and I wouldn't really blame you, but you need to find some kind of answer to other things that he would normally provide. Like, like Inquisition are gonna be tough to kill. Unless you have Malgus. Malgus kills Inquisition pretty well. He kills he kills lots of stuff. So uh, let's see, we have Bane here, and he's kind of a weird one too. Like like because he only has just two of them, and one of them is gonna die. And so that like in the attacker cron, like his basic is fine, it does okay, but it's not a lot of times he can't hit back any like he's he's not he's not He's not really benefiting a huge amount from any of the new crazy crons, and so, uh, you know, he's gonna be good. Keep in mind that, uh, like, when you look at the data in GG, when you go to insights, and it'll be like, oh yeah, uh, Bane wins 70%, or well, he wins 90% of this. That was with the Bane cron last time we saw him in 5v5. He had the, the Bane cron on him. And he doesn't have that anymore. Now he's just kind of a weird misfit. Like one of the strangely only one of, one of the very few units that really doesn't care that much about the current Datacron set. It's very strange. He's he's a strange fellow though. 
Um, alright, so I, I think we put Inquisition on offense. Here's the thing, it, it, they do die fairly easily to Phoenix if your opponent knows what they're doing. Most opponents know what they're doing. There is RNG involved in that counter, of course, but I don't feel like it's enough really to warrant it. I, they're, they're just so strong on offense. And, uh, you know, it, it, <laughs> it kind of kills my soul every time I look at my defense and I'm like, oh... Oh, they used that to kill me. Like it's just so sad. And so I wouldn't wish that on you. Not none of you. I want to, I want good things for you. So probably keep it for offense. Um, if you want to get daring, you can put it on defense. I suppose. Like it's gonna be good if they don't have Malgus. If they don't have Phoenix. Like there's a ton of configurations for Phoenix that that could pro probably work pretty well. Um, well for sorry for just like. A, a ton of different teams like you could have Phoenix uh, the Sabine Cron yeah, there's a ton of different things like uh, so many questions in the air like <laughs> for the Phoenix squad d is Captain Rex with Leia is he with Saw is he with he's, is he gonna go with Phoenix and uh, is Sabine going with Bo-Katan and her Mandalorian buddies is Sabine going with Rey is Sabine going with Phoenix you just don't know and there's all these weird things like Sabine will just ruin this team though. Uh, without Sabine or Captain Rex, you're probably like there's just still a lot of counters to this team. I, I just uh, don't don't hurt your don't hurt yourself, guys. Your ego, your yourselves, your inner core, you know, the, your inner sanctum, as as it were. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I, I no one deserves for me to to talk about their inner sanctum. I'm, I apologize profusely. So. Um, just do, do what you want, actually, I don't care. So, Treya, Treya, you have the, you can put him on, she's so useful on offense, guys. I hate putting her on defense because of how useful she is, but she's a little more expendable right now than Malgus is. Like, uh, those are probably the two most Swiss Army Knife teams out there. Like, like just throughout any meta, they're just so resilient and good, and they can make the make use of really good Datacrons. You can have, uh, like, you can boost Savage's uh, crit damage to obscene levels with Treya and Nihilus doing all the, causing all the debuffs, and doing all the, like, it, it's, it's a very strong team on defense, probably even stronger on offense. Um, you know, you could put this or Malgus on, on here. I'm kind of giving you guys options in this video, because not as many people watch the offensive team's video. So, hopefully you get a little more value more people start watching this. Hmm? Eh? That does, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how YouTube works. I get it. So, um, alright, Adrad's going to be a little hurt this season, because, uh, lo and behold, Baze is not part of his team. Um, Baze is going to go ba Baze be sit. <laughs> Saw. <laughs> I'm so amusing, even to myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you go kill Saw with this team, I, I suppose. Um, or, or sorry, you go kill Saw. The Saw is gonna kill everything with with Baze. And so this team. Um, so one of the nice things is support. Uh, if you put the support cron uh, on here, uh, then you're gonna boost Jin's offense quite a bit because Cassian is a support, Admiratus is a support. I think Biston's an attacker, right? Yeah. So b between b b between b b b Biston and and Jin, you'll be able to do a lot of damage. Um, and you'll make K2SO tankier if if that's the tank you want. Um, I think I have Re Scarif Rebel Pathfinder on another team, so. Oh, you could do that. Um, it'll kill some. It'll kill some stuff. Moff Gideon. Once again, it, he's he's gonna fluctuate back and forth. But if, if your opponent has the 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 drunk trooper, the the knight trooper, whatever his name is, um, probably in fives. I'm guessing Adrad is just not gonna work. Well, well, time will tell. But in threes, it certainly did not work. In fives. We'll, set, we'll have to see. We, we just can't test it, guys, until we get into actual GAC. So, we'll find out. But my guess is we'll be stuck. To, like, this team honestly might not do that well this this time. But with ramping damage with Jin, um, it, it, it could it could be good. And we'll, we'll just have to see, folks. No one knows. Um, okay, so, so Afra's in an interesting place folks because uh, well because of Grievous and here's the thing so so Afra is a support character who hands damage out to her team 
based on her max potency. If you put a support Kron with Afra, then every time you inflict debuffs on your opponent, she gains potency. Then she hands out the the stats. She she not only hands out the cool uh, uh, support Kron stats, she also is handing out extra damage from her own kit in the form of potency and so uh, but but if you're so you can kill a lot of stuff but if you're trying to take out like a Jabba team especially when Jabba has the crazy crons that he does currently um then you probably want B2 to interrupt his uh turn meter madness and uh, but but the thing is so does so does Grievous Grievous also wants B2 and so Afra can kill a lot of stuff I, I think she's gonna ramp damage I think she'll end up probably killing Jabba pretty well we'll have to see I mean she might not survive the initial volley but she does have her o access to Omicrons if you have those available as well uh, for her uh, it's with Stap and Grievous I mean against certain teams you might not want b2 but b2 is just so nice because he gains that extra turn meter and it's just inexorable all right he's gonna take a turn and uh you know eventually he's going to take a turn and stop your opponent's progress and then you can kind of get a word in edgewise and start gaining your own turn meter uh, and so uh which one do we want i mean grievous has limited application these days like i wouldn't throw him against jabba i wouldn't throw him i'd throw him against like so the Eternal Ember, if he was on defense, maybe against like a Jedi Master Luke team, if I didn't care about banners that much. Um, he'll kill CLS if you see him. Um, he'll kill a few other teams. Like, he's not going to kill that much. You could almost throw him on defense, but if you do, maybe just put like Droidica here or something and have B2 stay with Afra. Uh, because I think, I think Afra needs him a little more than Grievous at this point. Because Grievous. Grievous with Stap and the Omicron, I, this is all right. It's fine. It's fine. Let's uh, let's move right along though. Okay, so now we have this is an interesting one. So the the Bosk, if you have the good level six tank Kron, Bosk is gonna be a pretty nice tank uh, against like Lord Vader teams. Some of them. Um, if you have a Relic Nine Bosk like me, probably get to be pretty tanky in that. So like Maul's gonna barrage you almost to death and. Uh, but the thing is, remember that Tank Kron is going to reset his protection, right? Like one time when he re gets reduced to zero protection, he just gains all of it back. And so they're trying to kill Bosk and it, it just uh, doesn't work that well because he, he has a ton of protection. And so, you know, if you have a lot of, if you have a lot of relics on him, putting the Tank Kron on him and trying to kill Lord Vader teams, but the Lord Vader comps this season are going to be so wild. I don't, I don't really know if Bosk is going to be enough to, to help you survive the onslaught that, that's approaching. So, um, but, but I do think that this team has a little added viability just because Bosk is already kind of a boss, but with the level six tank he he turns into an absolute monster i mean you can make the argument that he already is i mean it's a lizard wearing clothes it's bizarre man he like how does he not belong on a pets team i i don't know uh let's move on though so uh now now we move on to where does sabine go if you have the sabine cron so if you don't have the sabine cron like th throw armor in here throw uh bo -Katan, uh the, the crappy Bo-Katan, the one character I ever hard wailed on and didn't get. <laughs> did, oh, I was so miserable, guys. That's the one thing I've ever ever spent actual just dollars to buy a new character right away, and she was so disappointing. But um, you can put her on the team. Get get some bang for your buck there. Uh, Sabine is is in an interesting place because her Kron kind of lets her go wherever she, you want her to go. Like you can put her with Ray and you kill Jedi Knight uh, or Jedi Master Kenobi pretty easily. You can put her on Ray and kill other Ray teams pretty easily. You can kill. Yeah, you can just take out a ton of different stuff and she can go on a ton of different teams because she just gains bonus turns out the hind quarters and. So, is bo Mandalore the best? I mean, I have three Omicrons on her. I kind of think that's the best place for Sabine. Uh, like, d does this team kill? You can't test it against against Jedi Master Kenobi right now because uh, 
if you try to test it in Arena, you can't use the Revive Omicron that you should be applying to bo if you have her. And therefore, it, like, Cat just kills someone instantly, and then you're just kind of screwed. You kind of need that auto-revive for it to start working, for it to play, so... I'm not sure if it works. I, I really don't know um, if that works against the current Kenobi iteration, but... I think you can do a lot with this team. Or Sabine could go with Phoenix and probably kill a lot of the same stuff. Kill, but if, Sabine is also needed to counter Inquisit, Inquisition if she's on uh, if she's on the Phoenix team, uh, etc. So, all right. Um, you'll note I already told you Malakos is not on offense uh, this season, which is so sad to me. But uh, part of that is because we have a, a very viable Ray counter in the form of, I think a lot of people are going to be keeping Ray for offense this season because she's so easily countered by Malakos or Starkiller because the attacker Kron just won't stop. They just, they get so much out of it. Like, uh, especially in fives, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this goes because you, even Scav Ray, she's an attacker. Like we, we just get so many, many attacks. Uh, like Star Killer is extremely viable against most Ray builds, I think. So you don't need Malakos. Malakos can go off and do his Malakos thing. All right, Wampa. If you have the Wampa Cron, I guess you can use it sometime. I mean, it's five v five. You probably can't use it that much. Uh, Seer. And squat, so no Malakos, like I keep hinting, guys. Malakos is elsewhere. So Seer is going to hang out here. Remember, if you put a support cron on the Seer team, especially with Cal here, they're, they're both support. And so every time something, uh, every time, like they get, they give so many buffs out and they do so much crazy stuff that uh, Fulcrum is going to go absolutely nuts. She, her, her damage ramps just like so fast. And. I'd probably be able to snipe a few teams out, is my guess. I only have ninth and Kylo. Like I, I was really running thin on on Ufus uh, for for these folks. Um, all right, we have we have the we, we have the two troopers builds. Do what you want with them, guys. I don't know how how effective they're gonna be. Like Aiden might be pretty good because all the attackers get extra attacks every time they attack, and they're gonna be countering a lot, so they're gonna be attacking twice, getting all this turn meter and doing all this stupid stuff. Um. Uh, you know, probably keep him for offense though, because Edrad will still just destroy either of these teams pretty easily. And that you you kind of want to make a board that's Adrad proof as a as a at a bare minimum. Um, okay, we have nice sisters. Who knows, man? Um, I think they probably still kill that Grievous with Stap Team if it's on defense. It would would be my guess. I don't know that for a fact though. Um, I guess if you're feeling cheeky, you could try to kill a Jabba team with this. Um, I, I guess you'd need to take out Zombie for it, so you just have a four-man. Um, so go, go nuts, guys. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. It's a scary proposition. Uh, get ready, Night Sisters, to be the most obsolete squad ever with two Omicrons. Sorry, I'm kind of singing to them, guys, because I'm sad. Uh, let's see, Dash. So Dash and Hondo. Nest. Nest is another one. She could. She's very plug and play. She could go with Ray. She could go with. I don't know. Probably don't want to put them with Kano. Put her with Kenobi. But you could do. You could do a lot of different teams for uh, Nest. Uh, I, I just like the idea of Nest with Dash and Vander Chewy. Then Hondo can go and interrupt people. And L3 is there because we kind of want to pre taunt. We do, we can't if Nest is on the team and Hondo. We can't put IG11 with Quill on the team, which. I mean, those would be really nice with Nest as well. So, you know, your mileage may vary. If you don't have Hondo, then don't use L3 either. Um, yeah, this this guy, you could put it on defense maybe. I bet that'll mess with people as well. Uh, let's see, Tuscans. Tuscans just get ruined by a lot of stuff these days, especially in fives. So I would take them for offense and kill teams like uh, CLS or... Phoenix, or any team that has a ton of turn meter, they're, they're going to be able to stop pretty effectively. And, uh, you know, you could, give them a, you could give them a support cron, because Tuscan Chieftain is constantly handing things out. Oh, you can't see Tuscan Chieftain is, is a support. Doesn't he look? He looks supportive. He, he, looks, he looks a little grimacy, but um, he's, he's, a little, he's a little supportive. Uh, uh, un, under the mask, so to speak. Um, a couple of those teams, guys, we won't touch on them too much, um, that, that we talked about during the, uh, the, the 
endless loop stuff because you get you guys can go watch those videos but um they, they have some good functionality my guess is that they're not going to be that good on defense though if you find them on defense that's one of the reasons you want to keep han because you'll be able to just kind of shut them down hopefully or you know the cls with han i don't know why I, like han is the guy who stops them i guess is why i said it but uh yeah this team the, these two teams can do really cool stuff we'll, we'll have to find what application it is available um and yeah, this is where I put Scared Rebel Pathfinder and stuff. You just want, uh, so so really for for the Rolo team, you want the attacker Kron, um, and then is it the so yeah, this is the attacker one. And so R Rolo and Sana are are hanging out. Um, and then you just need three rebels. I, I thought Biggs would be nice so that you could sometimes just like steal the turn from someone if if you know they shoot him and crit him and, and stuff. You really just you need three rebels there as as the last three slots and and the the mostly endless turn meter loop will will work. Um, as you Keller and Beck, this is just a garbage Keller and Beck squad. Honestly, Barris is so awful here because she only heals health and he gives everyone a ton of protection. So, uh, yeah, i like this is just leftover Jedi basically, folks. Um, uh, yeah, so what is Phoenix doing? If they don't have Sabine, like, do they just put Ezra on here with, with Krex? Like, Captain Rex is, he wants to go on so many teams, guys. He wants to go on Saw, he wants to go on Leia, he wants to go on Phoenix, and, you know, choose, choose wisely, I guess, folks. Um, do, do as you will. Um, well, will Bad Batch be relevant? Probably not. My guess is that they'll suck. Um, and then finally, you know what? I think if you put good Wookies on on this team, like not not these ones. See see the words that say probably use better. I'm sorry I had to read that out loud to you. But if you use better one, like if you have Chupio available, if you have Vander Chewy, this team could honestly be pretty frustrating if you use the Tank Kron uh, for Zalbar or. I mean, it, hold on, is Tarful? He's support, right? Yeah, you guys can't see it, but he is support. Um, so he, he could be handing out, he could be just distributing all kinds of awesome buffs to people as time passes. So he takes a lot of turns. This is a, it could be a surprisingly strong defensive team, guys, but probably not this comp. I just wanted to show you, just point, point at, these Datacrons are going to make a lot of teams really strong, including the Pets team. So, uh, don't worry, we're not putting Bosk on the team. Bosk actually enslaves these pets. He's, he's not he's not nice. It's 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 literally slave trade. So, let's uh let's go to the defensive teams video, folks. Uh there should be a link below my face here. If it's not already there, it should be shortly. You can click on that or click on in the video description go there. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I hope you have a wonderful JC season. You can watch me play on, on Twitch, find, find the link in the video description as well. It's free to play or free to watch, and we would love to have you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Have a good one, guys, and <laughs> thank you all for watching. Remember that in all things, Zerus prevails.